This is an automated humidity control project. This project will monitor the current humidity and turn the humidifier on or off based on user defined threshold to maintain the ideal humidity level in a room. Let's dive in. For this project, we need an Arduino Uno board, DHT11 sensor to measure the room's humidity and temperature, automization module or we can say ultrasonic humidifier for generating mist, relay module to control the power supply to the humidifier, power supply appropriate for the humidifier and Arduino, some jumper wires for connection, USB type A to B cable for Arduino, USB type A to micro for humidifier module. Before we move on, let's understand the humidifier module in detail. The atomization module, also known as an ultrasonic humidifier, operates on a fascinating principle. Inside the module, a piezoelectric transducer generates high-frequency ultrasonic vibration when powered. This vibration breaks the water, causing it to atomize into fine mist particles that are then released into the air. This makes it a highly efficient way to add moisture to the environment ensuring improved humidity levels. Now let's assemble the circuit. First of all, connect the DHT11 sensor to the Arduino. Connect the VCC and GND pins of the sensor to the 5V and GND of the Arduino. The data pin of the sensor should be connected to an available digital pin on the Arduino like D2. Now connect the relay module. Connect the VCC pin of the relay module to the VIN on the Arduino and GND to the Arduino's GND. The in pin of the relay module should be connected to an available digital pin on the Arduino like pin D7. The COM and NO that is normally open pins should be connected to the power supply and humidifier circuit. Connect the ultrasonic humidifier. Make sure the atomization module is connected correctly to the relay and power supply. Connect the positive terminal from the humidifier to the COM terminal on the relay. Now we need to power the humidifier. Take the single battery holder and connect its positive terminal to the NO terminal on the relay. Connect the negative terminal of the humidifier to the negative terminal of the battery holder. Make sure to double check your connection with the circuit diagram. Now our circuit is ready and we need to add the code. Download the code and library files given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. We start by including the DHT library which makes it easy to interact with the DHT11 sensor. This library provides pre-written function to read temperature and humidity data. We define the pin number where DHT11 sensor is connected, in this case pin D2. We also specify the type of sensor as DHT11 ensuring compatibility with the library. Here we create an object DHT to access the DHT sensor using the pin and type defined earlier. We also define pin 7 for the relay module which controls the humidifier. We set a threshold value for the humidity which is 40% in this case. The humidifier will turn on if the humidity falls below this value and turn off when it exceeds it. In the setup function, serial begin 9600 initialize serial communication allowing us to view the sensor reading in the serial monitor. DHT begin function initialize the DHT sensor. Pin mode relay pin, comma output sets the relay pin as an output enabling it to control the humidifier. In the loop function, we read the humidity and temperature value from the DHT sensor using the library's built-in methods. DHT.read humidity fetches the current humidity. DHT.read temperature fetches the current temperature. To ensure reliable data, we check if the readings are valid. If the sensor fails to provide data, the program outputs an error message to the serial monitor and skip further processing for this cycle. The humidity and temperature reading are displayed in the serial monitor for the real-time monitoring. For example, it may print something like humidity 45% and temperature 25 degrees Celsius. Here the humidity values is compared to the threshold. If the humidity is below 40%, the relay is turned on, activating the humidifier. If the humidity is equal to or above 40%, the relay is turned off, deactivating the humidifier. A 2 second delay is added at the end of the loop to prevent continuous reading and provide stability to the system. And that's it. Now upload your code to the Arduino, connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable. Then select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. And now with everything connected and code uploaded. Install the circuit in the house type structure so that it looks presentable. And now that's how our project works. It monitors humidity level and turns the humidifier on or off to maintain a set threshold, ensuring optimal air moisture. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.